hello guys welcome back once again to Rekaleli's kitchen today i'm going to make over my former dining room i want to share with you how i make over my former dining room things i'm going to change in the room one the ceiling i realized that the house is a rustic home my home is a rustic home and almost all the ceiling the, all the ceiling look alike all the rooms have similar ceiling except the dining room and the other ceilings are quality but the dining room is some plywood a very soft plywood and i wanted to see what is under or what is the main reason why the one who used to own the house used that ceiling in that particular room so one i'm going to take off the ceiling i want the rear ceiling i want to see if i want the rear ceiling a quality ceiling it's a ceiling that match the house right so the house is built in 1909 and i want everything in it to look very very traditional so i'm going to swish i'm going to remove the ceiling remove the wallpaper although the wallpaper is quality but i don't like the color it look like a stained white but instead it's beige beige with blue lines but i for beige i can wear beige as dress but i don't like beige on my walls so i'm going to switch these two so if you are ready or if you want to see exactly what i'm going to do please keep watching and see you soon mm. Good morning, sunshine, and welcome back once again to Recanalis Kitchen. Today, we are going to change the former dining room wallpaper and then the ceiling. The wallpaper is fine. It is quality and expensive. But just that I don't like the beige color they mix it with the light blue or the sea blue. And the ceiling. As I said earlier, it looked pretty. You can see. It looked pretty. It has done nothing wrong. You know, a lot has gone or a lot has happened in this room. Nothing is wrong in the room. But my main reason is why is this room ceiling is different from the others. So I decided to cut small behind there to see what is under. When I saw that it is quality wood, I then test another area here to see what is under. So after I saw that it is a quality wood or ceiling, I decided to remove all the plywood because I don't like the plywood. All the rooms has a quality ceiling. So I want that quality ceiling under the plywood. So I decided to remove all the plywood with my hand because it is soft and it can't hurt my fingers. So I keep on removing it. And when I removed the plywood, I saw that there is special sack. And the sack is very strong and quality sack under. It is the sack they normally use to pack the cocoa. If you are a Ghanaian on Afri or African who know the sack they used to pack the cocoa, you know the sack I'm talking about. Most of the time, they use the same sack to pack sugar. Yeah, they line it with rubber and then place sugar in it. It's a very special sack. And sometimes we use the same sack to decorate Christmas table escapes and under the Christmas trees and ribbons. 
So that sack is covering all the top. And as I am removing the ceiling or the plywood, there comes a small, small particles, which is sawdust. So I think that is the main reason the contractor used the sack and that type of ceiling to protect the sawdust. But I still, I don't want the ceiling. I want the rare wood under this, this plywood. So after removing the plywood, I decided remove I decided to remove this wood. This is I don't know the name they call this one, but I can say it is called buttons. They used to support the plywood. So here I'm using a screw and something to smash the wood to open it and a hammer to smash the screw to remove it step by step because there is small, small needles. They use it to support the wood. So I'm going to remove all of the wood. And after that, I will remove the sack also. And the wood, after I'm going to throw it away because I'm not going to use the wood again. Although I remove it nicely without breaking almost all of them. Yeah, so I'm still removing the wood with a hammer and a screw yeah and that is small paper they place it under the bottom or the wood yeah it is a tough work but yes i can do it you know, there is nothing on this earth we can never do it unless we decided not to do it. But so far as you determine to do something, you can do it and do it better. I should have hired any contractor to do this for me, but I decided to do it by myself. Yeah, because all this lockdown and because of the corona, I'm home. I'm not working. I'm home. I'm home for now. So I decided to use the time to do this. So after removing everything in the sack, this is the ceiling, the quality ceiling I'm looking for. But there is small, small space between the ceiling, which I don't like. And I couldn't remove also the needles sorry the nails they used to smash the sack so i left it there so this is some clay i'm going to use to sew in between the ceiling the small lines between yeah it's a very soft clay you can use to seal holes yes a very soft clay so i take some into my recycle container because I want to cover the big one, the big container, so that it doesn't dry quickly. And these are the tools I'm going to use to seal the hole. So this is the hole I have started earlier before I set the camera. So I'm using that tool to take some of the clay and then seal the hole. I repeat the same thing over and over and over and over again until I'm going to finish all the holes. Yeah. I should have been building engineer, right? So finally, I'm done with the clay. And this is the next day. The clay is dry. It's dry now. So the next thing... I'm going to do is to use a sandpaper to do to sandpaper it and the the mark on the wall I trace the mark on the wall down for me to know exactly where the frames were hung and that is me yeah and this is the top I couldn't finish all the sandpaper 
one day. So this is another day. That, so I use this to cover my eyes so that the dust will not affect my eye. And then use this, my robe, to also cover my nose and the mouth. Yeah, so that is me. So after the sandpaper, the floor is very dusty. And I have lined all the top with newspapers because I'm going to paint the ceiling. And there was one thing I did not do. I should have also removed the bar lining around or lining at the end of the ceiling. I did not remove. So that one, I will remove it later. That's my Wi-Fi box on the stand. Yeah, so all that papers are newspapers that normally come from the post. And this is the mark. It traces when I'm going to place the frames back on the wall. So when I trace it from down up, then I know. So I started painting. I started painting the ceiling. The dining room is very large. It's same as the other rooms in the house. It is very, very large. I will write the size. Yeah, I'll write the size later. So, I am still painting the ceiling. I used two different paints. I should have used the lighter paint under and used the dark one as a final one. But I did not do that. I used the darker one under and used the light one. So after the painting, I did not like the lighter one. But it looked good. And yeah, in the future, I'm going to paint it with a little darker brown color. So this is the next day after the painting. I'm dusting the floor and here i'm using the mob to clean the dust yeah water and then some floor detergent to clean all the dust away from the former dining room as you can see that room is very big yeah it is 24 yes i just remembered it is 24 by 20 meters. 24 by 20 meters. That is the size of the room. 24 meters by 20 meters. So here, I was removing the curtain hanger on the wall. And here, I am removing the wallpaper. The wallpaper is made of paper and a fabric. It is very quality, very quality and expensive. So as I am removing it, you can see by yourself that it can't even split into two in a vertical way. I can only take it in horizontal because there is fabric added to it. So. I pack it in a plastic bag, so after that, I will throw it into the garbage. I remove all the wall. You see the way it's removing nicely, and I couldn't remove that small one, so I will cut it later. And this side too, I'm removing it. It's easy to remove it. It's come big and once. So I want to show you how quality it is. Yeah, there is strands. Or some thread so it's quality yeah so I have opened all the windows yeah the, the windows in that room is six three on the left side three on the right side so I couldn't remove the small one so I use a scissors to cut so i should have removed that bar before painting but i did not so when my hobby saw it and he didn't like it so i have to remove it 
before we do the wallpaper. So I'm removing it gently because this one, I don't want to buy a new one. I'm going to use the old one back to support the ceiling and cover the end of the wallpaper. Yeah. So I remove it nicely without breaking it. And this is the wallpaper. My sweetheart has cut all of them. And unfortunately, I'm not the one who is going to fix the wall. He's the one who is going to fix the wall. So I will show you little, little when he has almost done with it. This is the glue he's going to use to glue the wall papers or the wallpaper. And that is the window and my plants. I stand there to introduce myself the other day. Yeah, it's the front view of the house. So this is, yeah, Hobby's hand. Obroni. Yeah. So he has finished, but it's left one corner. And I decided to show you. And all is done now. The wallpaper is done. And I'm so happy dancing. And I'm about to use this floor detergent to clean the floors again. You know, all this is dusty. So here I'm cleaning the, or I'm dusting the wall. That wall is always need to be dusted because the way it is. And I'm still dancing because, you know, I always play music when I'm working in the house. Yeah. So I'm going to mop the floor. And after, after mopping the floor, I decided to set the tables back. This is the side table. I normally use to study and also place food on it when we are doing buffet or when we are doing anything or I just decorate it during the Christmas. I will show you a picture of it when I decorate it 